So um, today's assignment, I tried to make it uh, pretty simple, nothing crazy. I just wanted you guys to learn a little bit about, uh, what is that called, like uh, saws. Okay, so I want to do something about tools, screw bits, stuff like that. You're going to see this stuff in my class. And um, in general, I want you guys to learn about saws today. So um, I have a, a quick thing on 32 different saws right here. And I'll explain your assignment here in a minute. So if you click this link, uh, it will send you here. Oh, no, it will send you here. No, nope, it's going to send you there. There we go. So it's going to send you here. And uh, and it goes over about what saws are and stuff, which we kind of already know, right? They cut things, right? So this one's called a back saw. And I do have this in my class. It's really cool because it's, it's going to really keep you straight. And uh, I, it actually, for in generally, is used to, like, insert in a uh, what's a like a block that's got a slot in it and it helps you hold it perfectly straight so it's just this big flat saw you lay it right into the th groove you lay your wood in there and then when you pull back and forth you can't mess up because it's like forces you to stay in that thing so i do have one of these in my class a bow saw um i don't have anything like this but um it can be used for trimming trees and stuff cutting logs all kinds of stuff and they're usually pretty big I don't have that in my class. Coping saw. I don't have one in my class, but it's probably very useful. And the cool thing about this is that the, um, the uh, what is it called? Um, the, the blade right here, the blade. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. This little blade is really thin. So... So, uh, yeah, sorry for those that couldn't see my screen. So, here's the website you go to. Yeah, I, I appreciate for those people that let me know. Um, I was sitting there talking, you guys couldn't see my screen. Here's a back saw. It's perfectly flat, and it allows you guys to, like, kind of uh, hold it in a straight line if you lay it in, like, what's called a, a cutting block or something like that. This is the bow saw. It's usually pretty big, and you can make it for cutting logs and pruning trees and like little branches off trees, stuff like that. I don't have one in the class. I do have a few of these. I don't have this. I don't have this, but it'd be useful. The blade right here is really thin. It's really thin. So it allows you to turn and curve the saw blade. So if you need to like, let's say you were gonna cut your name out of wood, what it would take a while, first off, if you had a longer name, but you'd be able to turn those little curves and stuff with this little tiny blade because you can kind of just twist. You kind of hold this back end right here with one hand and grab the other hand with this one. And you just kind of go up and down, up and down cutting. And you, with this hand, you can kind of twist and curve the blade and kind of uh, get the correct angles you want and make and actually move the blade around and make little curves and circles and stuff. So if you need to cut a circle by hand, you definitely use this. You're not going to cut a circle with this thing. It's so fat, this blade that it's actually made to help you keep a straight line so you can cut a log straight across. And that's why it's so fat. This one is actually purposely made thin so that you can turn it and make a circle if you want it. Um, this is a crosscut saw. It's specifically designed for rough cutting wood. I have one of these two. It's really, the blades on it are really sharp and real jagged, and it's made for just ripping a piece of wood in half really quick. Just like, I don't care if it's ugly. I just need it cut in half. That would be a good saw for that. A fret saw. Most, uh, most, it looks like a coping saw, right? Uh, th with a thin blade. And it's longer framed. Allows cutting further from the edges. I mean, it's pretty much... If you ask me, this would be a coping saw. Just It's just a wider one right here. So you can really get into the wood deeper. without And still turn, right? Because the other one doesn't let you go deep into the wood. So to me, this is just a coping saw with a deeper uh, cut. Um, but uh, like I said, I, I don't have a coping saw right now. Hacksaw. Uh, this thing, perfect for cutting pipes and tubings. The hacksaw is one of the most common saw types. Yes, and I, it's common, and I do have one. Uh, it's great for just, I just need to cut through some metal, because you can get metal cutting teeth on this, and, uh, and they're really fine teeth, and you can cut right through metal. And my students have metal shafts for their uh, motors. They have uh, metal pieces for their robots. And... Uh, they cut those pieces with this all the time. They'll stick a piece of metal in the vise and install the metal with that. So I do have one of those in the class. Uh, a hole saw. This is cool. It's got a drill bit on the end. If you guys see that right there on the left side, a little drill that goes into wood, right? And then you put this end in your drill. 
And this thing spins, and the drill will start to go into the wood, which holds it steady. And then this saw around here will start sawing, and, it'll and it won't move on you because the center is inside of a, a, a hole already. And then it'll drill a hole out for you, depending on the size. And they sell these in different sizes. They have one inch, half inch, three quarters inch. These come in different sizes to make any size hole you want. A Japanese saw. Uh, this one's called Japanese saw. I've only seen one person have one of these. And and the funny thing is, is it happened to be pretty useful for what he was using it for. Uh, it, it's a kind of a floppy blade. And so um, it will guide along whatever you need it to. It was a really weird scenario the person used it for. And I'll be honest with you, I've never seen anybody really need one since. But I, it has its purposes. But it's not. Uh, what happened was, is there was a piece of wood here. If you can see my mouse and a piece of wood here, and then there was this piece of wood right here they needed to cut off, like sticking up right here, and these two pieces that were laying flat down here, um, he wanted this cut right here to be matching with these two, and so this big blade kind of laid flat against the other two, and it kind of stayed flexible and kind of followed along the path. It was useful, although it wasn't super needed. I mean, you could have just done any kind of saw, but it was probably just a little bit better than some other type of saw. A keyhole saw, I'm going to skip that one because it's pretty much the same as one you're going to see down below. A pole saw, this is just a saw at the end of a long pole, which is pretty much for cutting a tree branch really high up. Uh, which brings us to the pruning saw, which if you look at this, this saw, that's a pruning saw. It's for cutting branches on a tree, which is called pruning. When you prune a tree, you're cutting branches off a tree. Uh, sometimes trees grow too many branches, and then if they have too many branches, they don't grow right. Uh, they don't; the fruit doesn't come out right. Uh, so uh, that's uh, pretty much, uh, you know, for cutting branches on trees. And if you put it on a pole, it's a pole saw, I guess. Uh, a rip cut saw. I think we talked about that or, or up earlier. That's pretty much what I have in class. I have some of these. Um, I don't, what do they call it up here? They called it, uh, did they not call it that? They called it a cross cut saw. Uh, to me, that's the same thing, but it's a rip cut saw. This is the one I have in class. And it's pretty much the teeth are really big and jagged, and it will rip through a piece of wood very quickly. So if you need to cut a piece of wood really quick, but you don't care if it's perfectly pretty, uh, then this will be fine for that. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Here's the other one I told you it's like a keyhole saw. Right here, this keyhole saw, it's pretty much the same thing right here. You jab this in, it's got a really sharp point right there, like a knife. And you can jab this right into your wall, like at your house, you know, the, the, the dry, what's called drywall, or sheetrock, or wallboard. Uh, you jab it, and then you just start sawing. And you just start sawing your wood. So if you need to cut a little hole in your wall, uh, this would be it. You would use this. I don't have one of those in my class, because we don't really cut walls in our class, so... It's really no purpose to it. Power saws. This is a bandsaw. I do have one of these. And what it does, it's got one gigantic long blade that goes all the way around. So it goes from up here, all the way down, and all the way around. And there's a motor in here that just keeps it moving. And you just push your wood through it, and it slices right through it. This is the same exact thing. It's just portable. So it's just got one blade that goes all the way around, if you follow my mouse. And the blade just keeps moving like this, and then you can cut it right here. Which is similar to a chainsaw. The chain is like this, and it goes around and around and around. Except this is for really rough cuts, and obviously, you know, we know it's for cutting wood for, like, branches and stuff like that. Um, you don't really need them for, uh, like, in our class, we would not need one of these. Uh, a chop saw. Uh, I don't have this, but I do have this which looks exactly the same. Um, the only difference is, is this one right here, the chop saw, you cannot move it at different angles. You can slide it down and cut things, like the, you can pull this handle right here and pull it down and cut something, but that's it, you can't cut it at a weird angle. So you can't tip this thing at different angles. Um, so that's why I have the other one because it's pretty much like a chop saw if you need it to be. This is a circular saw, some people call these skill saws. I think it's because skill makes them, skills, S-K-I-L-L-Z, or maybe just because it takes a lot of skill to hold one of these straight and cut, because I, you know, they are pretty dangerous. Um, compound miter saw. 
Um, that's pretty much the same thing as this one right here, the miter saw. It just it can bend a little bit more. I think the only difference is, is when you chop this down, you can pull it forward to cut a longer piece is all on this compound one. Uh, flooring saw, to cut pieces of flooring, you'll see that later on. So if you're cutting little tiles or flooring pieces on the floor that you're putting on the floor, we wouldn't need this. We don't do flooring in my house, but um, in, in our classroom. Uh, but that's for cutting little pieces of flooring up. A jigsaw. This is uh, nice to have. I used to have one in class, but I don't know if I have one anymore. Probably got stolen recently. Um, they stole a bunch of stuff out of my storage, so they, they probably stole this. It's a little tiny blade here, and it goes up and down like a sewing machine. And this has got a nice flat metal right here that you can lay on the wood. And then you can just turn this thing around, and it's like a coping saw. You can kind of cut angles and circles and stuff with it. Here's the miter saw. This is the thing I told you I have. It's pretty much like a chop saw. You just kind of grab this handle, pull it down, and it cuts a piece of wood. Uh, the only thing is that you can, right here where I'm putting the mouse, you can adjust the knob and you can tip this thing sideways and cut at weird angles and stuff if you wanted to. Uh, I have one of these. I actually just bought one recently. And it's called an oscillating saw. And what it does is it's got a little rough blade right here at this tip where you're looking at my mouse. And it just vibrates, like t -t 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 -t, like back and forth. It just vibrates. It doesn't spin all the way around. It just vibrates back and forth. And then you can lay it flat against something and saw something. I mean, it's very useful in certain places, you know? Um, uh, we don't have anything like these, so you can skip those. Uh, and we won't need anything like these. Uh, this one right here, reciprocating saw. This is a, some people call these sawzalls because saws all makes these, uh, but they're reciprocating saws. Uh, this one looks like it's Milwaukee brand, but you put your hand here, you guys see where the this black handle is right here? You put your hand here and you pull that trigger to turn it on. Your other hand, you'll be grabbing this big thing right here, and this saw blade right here just goes back and forth like this. And it's uh, pretty similar to this right here, actually, if you look at uh, this one. It's almost very similar. Just the only difference is it's a bigger blade is all it is. So it's and you can cut through a piece of wood. It'll cut through nails. It'll cut through all that stuff. Um, it'll it just cuts and cuts and cuts. And they're really easy to change the blade. You just push a button, pull the blade out, and stick a new one in. If the blade gets all nasty, uh, a rotary saw. This thing is like a a, a Dremel. If you guys have seen a Dremel, um, even uh, nail ladies when they're doing nails have some of these. Uh, sometimes they're hanging. And uh, they have a tube that, that comes out and then it spins down here. And it's like for buffing nails and stuff like that. But um, you can also use them for all kinds of stuff. So they're very useful for a lot of things. Um, a table saw. Uh, it's just a big table with a saw on it, just like it says. And you just lay a piece of wood and you push it right through there. Um, don't worry about these. And that's pretty much it. So let's get to your work here. It's nothing crazy. It says, learn about 32 different types of saws we just did. Then turn in the following. Choose five of these that you would like to see in the classroom when we return. Look up the price of those five things on Home Depot's website and give the list price. And give one to two sentences for each explaining why you'd want to see it in class. Um, so um, I already started for you. So if you click this other thing. So I just clicked right here, types of saws. And here's your five things. And I did one for you already. I put a Stanley 15 inch. I went on Home Depot and looked up the uh, hacksaw. I just typed in, I just went to Home Depot's website and typed in hacksaw. And they had a whole bunch, by the way. See, they had all kinds. Milwaukee brand, Anvil. I just picked Stanley brand. It's a usually pretty decent brand name. This one's really cheapy. I had, in class, these are the ones I have. I have these little cheapy $6 ones. But uh, here's a more heavy duty -er type of one. And they're pretty easy to change the blade. You just unscrew them here, and then this thing slides down and loosens up, and you can pull this thing out, this little saw right here. And uh, they're great for cutting metal and stuff like that, and I do have them in class. Uh, I'm not asking you what we do have in class. I'm just asking what you would like to see in class of all those saws, um, what you think would be a good idea to have. If you had to choose right now, like what five would you choose? I'm doing one for you right now. So I put Stanley Hacksaw. It was, if on the website, I don't know if you saw, it was $15.97. And it can cut metal, which will be useful for making metal robots. So I just put that one there. Okay. So 
But um, you can just say what you would like to do with them or wh why you think they're a cool saw. And uh, and just name the saw, the price that you saw on Home Depot, and then a, a sentence or two uh, explaining what you think it's a good saw to have. All right. It's amazing how many different saws there were, right? If I said how many different saws there are there, you'd probably think, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, four. But uh, they have 32 there, and there's probably more than that. But um, th those are the, the popular ones, and even of those, they're not all that popular. Um, does 